personal log in the year of Earth that was 2,521, Election Day. Some of you about to hear a story about some heroes on Lilac who defended everyday citizens against the scourge of the Reavers. I'm sure whatever story you hear is going to be filled with lies. Some of you probably think that I'm a hero for what happened. But I'm going to tell you about the real hero. Today, I was trying to escape the lion's eyes like I do every election day. Just go out to the middle of nowhere, find a nice quiet corner of a nice quiet bar and try to have a quiet drink away from the lion's eyes. I walk into this particular bar and it's crawling with the lions because I forgot. A lions feels bad because the whole verse knows that the lions played God and because they played God, now we got Reavers. So they're trying to save face. They're trying to make good. They're trying to protect the population. So we got all these Alliance troops in this hole in the wall bar. It was normally a place that I could trust to have a nice quiet drink. So I walk right through all the Alliance. Not wearing my brown coat, thankfully. They pay me no mind. I pay them no mind. And in the corner, there's this guy who's paying no one no mind. He's staring right through the walls. He's staring right through the scenery. He's staring right through me. Just nobody even exists as far as he's concerned. This guy's like a Buddhist sage on some other higher plane. So I decide I'll get him a drink, see if I can get inside that head of his. He ignores me, stares right through me. I set the drink before him. And he's about to eye the drink at least, even if he's ignoring me. But then we hear that ungodly freight train sound and we all know exactly what it means. The place goes totally quiet and this little girl comes in covered in blood. I don't even know how the Reavers managed to get to her. They hadn't even landed yet. We don't know if it's her blood. We don't know what. She's just screaming, Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. And that that black guy, that Buddhist sage, as I like to call him, he just stands straight up. And he says at the top of his lungs in some British accent, he says, Gentlemen, some of you came out here to defend the weak. And some of you, and he looks right at me, he says, Some of you are just trying to get away. But that girl needs our help right now. And if there's a man among you, you're going to stand up and you're going to follow me outside of this door and we are going to... And we're going to fight together. And he walks right out. He doesn't wait for anyone to acknowledge him. He just walks right out. And I find myself, before I even know what's going on, I'm, I'm walking right behind him. Side by side with Alliance scum. I've never fought on the side of the Alliance. I fought against the Alliance in the war. I hate these guys' guts. And this guy, in 10 seconds, has got me fighting next to him. I've served under a lot of guys in my time. And never once have I ever really felt that they had my best interest at heart or the interest of the people they're supposed to be protecting or representing. This guy did it. He rallied together a ragtag group of 20 Alliance soldiers and eight or 10 thugs and thieves and smugglers and scum. And, and we fought together. And, and we won. 25 people died among the fighting men. Only three of us remain. Me, and the lion's prick, and this Buddhist sage. To the lion's prick, I want to say, I drank this one to you. Because you fought well, and uh, Without you, that girl probably be dead today. So thank you. And to Mr. Buddha Sage, if you ever 
I looking for a right hand man? I'm your man. I'll drink the rest of this one to you. Thank you for being a hero. <laughs>